Good morning, everybody. Today we are sitting in a 2023 John Deere 310 SL. Uh, this unit's uh, about a month old, got 64 hours on it. It is the modern emissions equipped backhoe, so we have DEF fluid on board, saving the planet one bottle at a time. Uh, standard, typical instrument layout for the modern John Deere equipment. Uh, a couple neat things that this backhoe has got. Uh, on your loader function, standard loader control, so this would be down, that would be up. This would be curl in your loader bucket, dump your loader bucket. But it's got these little buttons on it. There is a slide switch here which operates the four-in-one bucket, or some people call them a clam bucket. So if I push that switch forward, it opens the clam. And if I pull it back, it closes the clam. That's a pretty, uh, that type of bucket is pretty common up here in BC. Everybody likes to have a four-in-one bucket on their backhoe. Uh, these other two buttons, this is a clutch override. So it's almost like putting the transmission into neutral when you're in gear. This is a downshift feature. So I like to run around with the backhoe in second gear and kill the parking brake. When I go into a spoil pile, by pushing this button once, it changes from second to first. Not only that, but if I push this button on the front, it'll engage the four wheel drive. So that's button off, button in. So now I'm in first gear, four wheel drive, and I have all the push power available to me. So I'll just ease into this pile. And just like that, you get a nice big heaping scoop with very little effort. When you back up, the transmission automatically goes back into second to get you more speed. So I'm going to dump that. Now, another thing you'll notice on the right loader arm here, it has a bucket level indicator. So as I curl the bucket, that indicator moves below the white line. And as I dump the bucket, it moves above the white line. So right in the middle would be your bucket level. But I don't have to use that because on the four in one bucket, and I'm not sure if this is popular with all backhoes, that edge that you see right there, and same on that edge, that top edge corner of the bucket, that steel is parallel with the floor of the bucket. So I know that that is bucket pointing down a little bit, bucket pointing up a little bit, and that's basically level right there. So that's how I use, or what I use to landmark the bucket. The backhoe's got a power shift uh, shuttle transmission. So just pulling this back, that is reverse, and of course it's screaming at me because I got the parking brake on. Um, that's your reverse, that's your forward, and then rotating, you select through the gears. It does have a fully automatic mode, so you can leave it in drive, and you can have auto selected, and it'll uh, shift up through the gears just like a car would. For a lot of the site servicing stuff, I will just leave it in second and select the gears as I want. Pushing the lever in activates the horn. On this side, you would have your turn signals, so pulling it back, your right, pushing it forward is your left, and you got your wiper controls for the front. Uh, I can run this as a below knee MPT. I can run it no problem because it's got a nice big, huge, meaty pedal, so I can run it with my artificial foot, no problem. That is your accelerator. These are your brakes, and on backhoes, you have a split brake. So this is your left rear brake. This is your right rear brake. And that's handy for when you want to steer sharp. If you're turning right, 
you can start feathering the right brake and the Baco will almost pivot steer. That's your rear differential lock and on the John Deere Bacos, the front axle on the four wheel drive units is limited slip and that's engaged full time by having that switch up or like I said, you can activate the button on the loader control for just short bursts of four wheel drive. Um, you got your standard layout, no key ignition, you have a starter button and then you enter a code at the beginning of your shift to make the panel active. Your four way flashers, stop, parking brake, you can run the rear backhoe on either excavator pattern or backhoe pattern, or what some people call cat pattern and John Deere pattern. This button here is for the ride control, and that activates an accumulator in the front loader arm, and it will gently oscillate up and down, which when you have a full bucket of material, it's uh, really nice if you're on rough terrain, the bucket will gently rock up and down, and it'll prevent uh, you spilling material. Also, if you're roading the machine, it prevents the porpoising or that pitching up and down that you always see with, with backhoes. Uh, what else we got? Let's spin around and take a look at the back. So this machine is equipped with pilot controls. Uh, you can run them either in the up position or down. You activate them with this switch. You can pull them right down into your lap. You got your stabilizer controls over here. This is your boom lock, and on the cat controls, this would be your swing and stick, and this would be your boom up and down, and your bucket curl out and curl in. So that's about it. John Deere 310 SL, a really nice backhoe. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, guys.